Hi there, it's Tanya from Tattoo Treasures. Hello and welcome back. So this is the um, Amazon packaging journal that we've been doing. Um, I've had a couple of weeks off it because I wanted to do uh, my Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah um, design team project. And then we had a week of doing uh, different embellishments and made some journal cards so i've just got this out and we'll just have a quick uh reminder so that's the cover and um the gray seam binding which i've still not cut down um got a giant tag here we've made a few embellishments on this little paper clip and then we've got two notebooks um here so we've decorated all of them and these have got the lovely um, bird pages and that's a kit from Nanine at College Type. Um, all the kits will be in the description. So that's the, um, the actual base. So I'll pop that to one side because I don't think <coughs> we're going to need it. Um, we've kind of done the, the first insert, <coughs> we've got no pages in yet, so we've just done the cover, some pockets, a couple of tags and then decorated uh, <coughs> the back of it. So that is ready for some uh, pages. I, might, I don't know if to put some um, lace down the middle or... Or not. Mind you, I'm only putting um, 10 pages in these because um, the spine's not awfully big and because we've got the big note pads at the back, um, there's not a lot of room. So I think 10 pages is going to be it. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I've decided to do a second signature and this is going to be uh, the stuff for that. So I'm just going to put these to one side for the minute. So that's going to be the second signature, which is going to be um, at the back. And then this is going to be the middle part. And this is going to have some <coughs> um, elements uh, in it. So these are things that I've made on the Roxy Challenge. I think that one might be from the DD uh, Farrago uh, Challenge, the Colossal uh, Tome. So that's kind of... <clears throat> that so I'm just going to take those out so I think the first job <clears throat> excuse me is to cover these the insides <clears throat> and then I'll pause and I'll sew round um, and then we'll get something on the cover I think I'll do that first actually so I was going to do the front of this one um, the same as the other one, but a different a different bird. So we've got a, a sparrow. So they're the pieces <coughs> for that. And we've got as half a uh, doily what's left. And <coughs> I really like that. And I'm just going to put that down with nothing else. Um, I like how simple that is. That's, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, a piece from the Nature's Gallery uh, notepad I had. It was like um, an embellishment pack. Um, I had to pop them all out, a bit like card uh, toppers. So I think I'm going to do that first. This one's going to be uh, the quickest. So I'll do this one uh, first. And I'm just going to put a bit, bit of ink round. Let me just, I'm just going to cut this bit. That's where it was obviously attached to, to the pad. And there's a little knobble here. And, okay. So I shall just give it a little bit of ink, just to give it a bit of definition. So, so that can go on there. <coughs> um, I'm going to use the, the art glitter. So let's think about placement. 
think if I put it on them lines there at the top, I think that will be fine. So I've done it in a different uh, paper because um, I, I've actually run out of the wallflower uh, paper. I've got the um, oh, mem member, um, oh, I, I just cannot say it, uh, the one that begins with M. Um, so yeah, I've bought a couple, couple of pads of, <coughs> of that. I've got plenty of wallflower uh, scraps and I will do a series later on in the year um, using some of the scraps up. But yeah, I bought two full uh, 12 by 12s in, in this because, um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get a Zans on it soon, are we? So <coughs> that's, that's that simple love the birds against that and i've got a little uh birdie just to pop at the at the back so i'm just gonna trim around this this is from uh tina at shabby dabby doodah's uh creators curators collection and this is obviously the bird the bird one and what i do like about these is you get those little uh, file folders to, to put all your pieces in and at first I thought well I'm not going to use that but I actually have um, and as I've used more and more of Tina's pieces I've been putting um, just other bird uh, pieces in there so it's kind of like my uh, you know bird bird ephemera so yeah I found it quite useful So we'll just stick this down, just a bit of something on the back. And that can go about there. Yeah, I'll just pop that to the, the side a minute. And we've got this one. Um, I do need to get <coughs> my tea bags out just to layer uh, that up a little bit. Just ink around this one. I might have to pause shortly and go and make myself another cup of tea. Um, I've not been up that long. Perhaps, well, perhaps I've been awake an hour. Um, but when I wake up, I sit. I've got a chair right next to my bed. Um, and... Yeah, it just takes my body and my eyes uh, longer to wake up. Uh, so I tend to sit on my chair for about half an hour in wake-up mode. And then I went downstairs, made a cup of tea. Um, got the washer on and washed pots and just, you know, tidied downstairs before I came, came back up. And I just started getting the things out ready and... Yeah, just put the camera on. Um, I don't think I'm mentally ready for it, but uh, <laughs> we'll see how we get on. So that's the <coughs> the back. Um, yeah, I'm going to say I was keen to to start back back at it. I feel like I've not done it for for ages. Just <coughs> reaching back my collage folder. That's got the uh, tea bags and um, well, oh. No, I'm not using a coffee filter. I'm going to save those for something. That's a bit of, bit of tea bag there. Oh, let me just... Um... Sorry, I've got something on my chair. I'm just <coughs> moving it because as I've moved and sat back, um, I've got my fleece on. Um, and I took it off just before filming and then obviously I got up and sat down and I was sitting on it, which wasn't very comfy. So let's have a look how we're doing this. So I think that's going to go up about there. What does it look like? Straight. Yeah, it's fine. So I don't, I don't want to ink this up. I don't think I inked the front of the other one, no. So these um, doilies are, are actual die cuts. Um, they are a lovely card. Um, I got these from, from eBay. 
It was a bit expensive, really, because there was only six. And I think there was about three, <coughs> three pounds. So, yeah, I'm, I'm only going to be using them for for important stuff. It's not just going to go on on anything. Uh, right, eight three. That'll be. Yeah, that's lovely. So I'm just going to put some ink um, on that. So these birds um, was from a, a topper set. I don't know if it was like Kaiser, Kaiser Crafts. I was going to say Kaiser Cheese. They're a band, aren't they? Um, yeah, Kaiser Crafts. Uh, again, I got it from eBay. It was just something I accidentally found um, about two years ago when I first started really um, it was a shop on eBay that I bought some uh, card from um, and yeah I just saw that they had them and I thought oh I like those so let's straight ish <laughs> Okay, let's just get a bit of ink around these and we'll get some tea back. That's that one. This is this little egg, lovely little egg. So that's that. Right, let's just rip that edging off. down that side just so it's a bit more jagged eh? yep. Just put some glue just to catch the the tissue. to be honest now. Put a, a little bit of, I think I'll just have it on that corner. Oh, rip that bit off. So I'm going to pop that down about there. That's that one done. I've already um, done the corners and I'd cut the bottom of, of this off and I don't know where the piece is. So I've just got another piece which is going to go um, here. So I'm just going to cut this down. So I'll ink around this. Now I'm going to line the inside of this one with the same um, paper as I lined the other one in. Um, if you didn't catch that video, the reason why I've lined it is one to 
well no that's number two we'll go from two to one um just to give it a little bit more <coughs> strength it, it's really decent paper as well we know but um yeah i thought um adding another piece to just make it a, you know that bit stronger seeing as i'm using it as a insert cover um and once you've got the pockets on i'm not keen um <laughs> that the birds just there i'm not keen on the placement of it once you've got the the pockets on i think i'll probably have those that way so <laughs> let's um get the paper now if i remember rightly I did this all in one one piece because uh, I think I was wondering if to cut it in the middle and do two pieces but I did end up doing it just in in one piece uh, and it's had to fold fine so that just fits doesn't it yeah so I'm gonna have to be be very spot on with it <clears throat> so i'm going to use a uh, kalal and then i'll stick this down um and then i think i'll leave it for i don't know not half an hour but that kind of i'm gonna have another uh, cup of tea in that way it's drying and i will sew them and then i'll come back and they'll be sewed So yeah, I don't need actually that much, but I want to make sure that it is stuck stuck down. So I don't want it bubbling up as I, you know, as you're folding. Folding it. Right, I think that might be the end. So if I try and get using the cloud gives you that wiggle room to be able to um, move it so that's as far as I can get that side oh sorry so yeah I think once that's inked up <coughs> you won't see see that at all so I'm just going to get the, the brayer out somewhere yeah at the side okay let me <coughs> just grab a, a wipe Try it off. Okay, right. Oh, I want my big scissors. So I'm just going to go down this uh, side. I'm not going to put the uh, corners in till till it's dried. To, to want to rip when it's not dry so I'm going to put that um, over there while that dries I'll save that for my collage um, thing right where's the next one so this is that one and I've got this this lovely one um, this paper that I'm using is from die cuts with a view and it's um it's a big paper stack i forget what it's it's called it is in my amazon favorites um if you're in the uk it is pretty cheap but i did end up getting mine from america um and the postage was as much as the paper pad but 
the paper pad was really cheap when you think i think there's about 160 uh pages or something like that so i think it only worked out at just over 20 pounds well i think for that amount of paper uh for that then it, it was an absolute bargain but um I know somebody had looked at the at the link and it was like, I can't believe you've paid that much postage. And it's like, well, you have to look at it as a as a whole. Um, and it, at the time, uh, there was nowhere in the UK that had had got it. Ew, come on, let's get this done because I don't want to be having to trim round that side as as well. This one must be just a little bit <coughs> smaller than than the other. I find it very satisfying using the the brayer. Um, yeah, just moving my, my camera. I felt like I was uh, miles away. just a bit down the sides oh, it's test testing me my cutting skills right and it's a bit all down here as well find little bits so difficult to to trim off gosh I was holding me holding my breath then I think it needs a little bit down here as well right I think that's that's that so that's fine. I shall leave that to uh, dry. Actually, I want to check um, the pockets on the other. So I don't know if they'll they'll need cutting down some or not. I'll do it on this because I can obviously see the the crease. So I think they're just going to want um, a little bit cut off. I don't think that's straight <laughs> at all. Let's um, get the trimmers on that. Trimmers? The trimmer. Okay. A little bit off. Come on, stay together. <laughs> uh, that just reminded me of uh, when Alan was at... Um, you know, little school, um, and I volunteered to um, help walk the class up to to swimming. <laughs> Come on, stay together, in line. Oh dear, gosh, many moons ago. I'm just actually at a parents' evening. It was on video uh, call. Um, and they were saying what, what a social girl she is and, you know, how polite she is and she'll say to the teachers, have you, have you had a good day or, you know, that kind of thing, which is is totally crazy because for the first nearly two years of, of her going to school, 
she was that child who, who was stuck on her mother's leg. <laughs> um, not wanting to go in and having to be dragged inside by the by the teacher. Um, and it wasn't till her last play in junior school that she actually, you know, wasn't hiding behind something or somebody. Um <laughs> So yeah, it's so uh, it's so funny seeing her, you know, develop um, <laughs> into a being. Um, yeah, because she was so so shy. Um, and Ryan's not very uh, talkative. He's quite not shy. He's just quite a quiet uh, man. Um, and yeah, she always reminds me of her dad. But I think. Um, <laughs> she's she's starting to be a bit more like me right i'm going to pause why i've paused um i'm gonna take the corners off i'm gonna sew all the way around i'm gonna sew around uh the pockets and then we'll come back and we'll hopefully get these folded uh nicely i wonder I'm just wondering if I can just I want to rub too too much. Um oh why did I do that? I'm sure it'll dry fine. Um yes, and then we will fold them, put the pockets in, and we'll get this one um finished finished up. So I shall see you in a little while. Okay, so I've sewn around them, I've folded them and I've inked around them. So I'm quite happy with how they've come out. So I'm going to put this one uh, to the side for a bit and that's all the pieces that go in there. So let's have a look at this one. So here's my pieces. I'm going to get this middle uh, bit put in first. So this was uh, one that I did on the Roxy um, challenge. Just gonna wipe that window. So if you want to <clears throat> find this video, it's in uh, Challenges 2021 uh, playlist. So it's just part of a, a window envelope and it's been made into a into a flip I've got a pocket there look and the tag just fits into there so I'm going to have that um, here so I want it just away from uh, the spine the middle part like so and I'm going to stick this down with a uh, fabric tack because <coughs> it's quite a chunky uh, piece. So I'm going to glue down. I'm going to put plenty of glue on it. Just check that's not gone underneath. Okay, so okay, so I'm just going to leave that side. For a minute, just straightening it up. Right, I think <clears throat> I think that's fine. Might need it out just a little bit more. Yeah, <clears throat> that's fine. So I'm just going to leave uh, that for a minute. Now, I've made this little um, window envelope. I feel like I might have done this in one of the vlogs. 
um, I think I was just using up my uh, trash. In fact, I'm going to put some <coughs> some acetate in the in the window. So it was it was just from um, like a cereal bar, um, and I didn't put put any windows in at the time. So let me just wipe this piece of acetate. <laughs> just dry it, dry it off. Yeah. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put I think it went to about there. Yeah, I don't want to go too close to to the window. Right, let's place place that on. Let's just move that out of the way in a minute. So I'm just gonna wipe the glue away from <coughs> excuse me, the window. Okay, I'll chop that chop that off that's better I know visually it doesn't look any different but <coughs> I don't know what it is about just having these <laughs> windows I think once you've got one in it just it just feels more window <laughs> like so, yeah. I just saw some paper come up somewhere where was it uh, just in this corner here, so just glue that down. Okay, <clears throat> let's get some pins back in. I wouldn't mind, I want to want that in a second. Okay, so I'm going to pop that there. I'm just going to just to cover the white um, as the needles come through. I'll put a bit more ink on when I do the other side. So I'm going to put that in the middle there. So I'll just glue it in three sides. Trying to keep a steady, steady hand. Okay. So I'm going to place that there. I'm just going to get a couple of clips so I want to put um, a tab on the on the card so why I'm doing that I'm just going to keep this clipped clip down scissors on there. <laughs> right so let's um just move that over to to that side a minute sorry about 
<coughs> not in the camera. Um, I'm just scooting over to get um, a couple of tabs. I don't think I want them. Um, I think for this one, I might have the the clipboard uh, one. So I'm just fold fold this in half. Okay, let's see what that looks like. So this is from um, Nanine's, I think it's a French um, kit. Yeah, I think that's nice. So I'm just going to swap my ink around and get the... Um, Walnut stain because I, I think that covers the, the craft card just a little bit uh, better. I think altogether I'm using bits from uh, three of Nanine's kits. Um, I have put, well, I will put the links in, in the description. I'm saying they all work very, very well together. So that's that one. I find it a bit difficult to see where the middle is. <coughs> I think it just wants. Okay. Let's just move slightly. <coughs> That's not. But I'm just going to take, <coughs> excuse me, a sliver off um, off the bottom. So it was a little bit too too long. That's fine that. Right, I'm gonna put <coughs> a couple of them clips back back on. Right, 
Okay, right. I've got a little uh, side pocket here. I think I made this in the uh, DD Faraday challenge. So I am just going to <coughs> take a bit off this because I want to put um, the pocket like flush to the. Well, I want to put it there. Like so. And I'm not going to leave it open at the side or anything. I'm going to put it flush, flush down. So let's put this down. Oh, it's so nice having pieces already made. It's nice getting them all out and, and choosing which ones to, to use. I've tried to... Um, you know, go halves and halves on like birds and botanicals because um, obviously it is looking a bit more birds than, than botanicals. Right. these sides and I'm, I think I'm, I'm going to put a tab on on that I could do with a small small one I'm wondering if to use these little teddy ones yeah that would probably be be fine so I'm just gonna ink ink around this I'm not sure what dies these uh, tabs are that I'm using I think both of these are from uh, Violet so um, yeah I'm not sure sure what set they come from I really want that to go there and that's about in the middle um, anyway so that's worked out quite fine there and that just keeps in in there fine right so here um i've got this lovely picture of a forget me not um so i think i'm gonna place that there and i'm gonna do this with the uh photo corners so it can be uh taken taken up so i'm gonna put a writing spot um underneath that use that one so I'm not sure if I'm going to put two on or four so I'll start with one on the top corner and one on the uh, bottom corner first and I want it about halfway I 
Let me just <coughs> stand up and see. I think that's fine. <coughs> Yeah, I think two two is enough. So pop those back. Right, I just need a little piece of uh, tea stained paper. You just throw that bit in the bin. Pop those there. Right, I'm just going under my computer desk. do is just hold that on there and I'm just going to cut round it so that than like a little tiny hidden uh, spot. Trim out and just trim off one one edge. See what that's like. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm gonna ink around this. And then we'll stick stick that down and that'll be this side done I don't know if I'll add um, some like washy or things <coughs> like that around it um, I'll have a look at it when it's when it's finished in I hope that's straight I can't really it's funny when you're sitting on top of something you can't really uh, see oh, I wish I could have been able to twist that a little bit more <clears throat> oh well that's fine Just got If I haven't blocked the whole lot, no. Okay, so that's that bit. <laughs> I like that. It tickles me putting those in, and Carol loves loves it when I do one of those. <laughs> so. That's uh, that bit, but yeah, I think it needs um, some some little bits um, round it. So that's fine now. Um, I'm going to pop this here, and it's a waste of time leaving that side open, isn't it? So with that in mind, no, I'm not going to do that. I suppose if I just brought it in just a little bit, I could have a side and it could just have one of these small 
um, tabs on. So yeah, I think I'm going to have it there. That needs a, a tab on as well. I don't, I don't think I'll... Oh, I think I've inked it. <coughs> so again, this was from uh, a Roxy Challenge. So yeah, I think I'm going to go there. Let me just stick that down. Okay, I think that's a little bit up there. I love these blue envelopes. Um, Heather sent me <coughs> these ones. Um, we don't get blue blue envelopes here. I'm saying the, the colour, and once it's been um, tea stained, it looks very vintage. Just going to go over that flower a little bit more. Okay. So I want to put glue on three sides. So I'm holding the side where where I don't want the glue. Okay, just a little bit more, and <clears throat> again, I'm going to use one of the, the clipboard um, ones for that. So let's put a bit more ink on. This card's from, I think it's from the old design uh, shop. I've got this one and then a tree one. Okay, I think. Oops. Yeah, that's about halfway. That goes in there, lovely. I think I'm gonna have to <coughs> probably didn't bend it enough um that way, so I think I might leave something uh heavy on this today just to it's getting better um staying. Right, the last piece that we're gonna put down is this little uh file folder. And I think that's going to go about there. Again, I'm, I'm not leaving anything open on it. But, um, yeah, you can fold that down. 
and I think I'm going to place it there because I've not got anything to to hold it uh, down so I'm thinking if if it's there that tab will hold it and then to put that down you need to take the um, tag out so yeah I'm quite happy with it uh, there then I'm going to pause the camera a minute and I'm going to get um, some tags out um, and we'll see if we can find um, something to fit behind this window envelope yep oh come on Then standing up. Yeah, quite happy with that. Right, I'll see you in a tick. Okay, so I've pulled the um bag of uh tags what are left left over, and I'm just wondering if. Uh, the cards that we made last weekend with the master board um, would fit and I think it would and I could obviously have the the top of there and then when you pull it out it to be at the top of that so I'm just wondering if there's one smaller than the other I think that's more square isn't it Okay, that's no good. I don't know what I've done with the rest. I think um, when I sorted through the pockets, I think some of them have gone like inside pockets because they fit. Um, yeah, because they fit some of the pockets that I'd made. So yeah, I'm gonna. <coughs> go with this one so they can go away and I think I might put one of those small ones on again so it's not, not hanging um, over and I'm sure I did have one a minute ago if I've just put it back in fact I wonder Yeah, that should be. Yeah, I'm going to put that one in. Okay. So I'm just going to go around this with a walnut stain. go over it Maybe just a touch. 
think what I'm going to do is find something <coughs> to go, go over the top. Yeah, I'm going to pop, pop that there. I think it just looks a little bit odd. This is the number from uh, Shappy Dappy Doo Dah. I'm not sure which uh, number set it is. better so that can go there so I'm thinking I probably want some <coughs> um, just kit tags just to put in there because um, just seeing the back of that tags you know not that that attractive um, doing something at all Humongous. Yeah. So I'll just ink ink around that. Maybe I want a little one in as well. Yeah, that's nice. <coughs> right. I just want to say, where's the bag? It's right in front of you. Right. Let's go around these what time are we on oh with it the hour mark so i'll link these and then we'll have to call it a day for today i don't think we've done bad at all i mean i did want to get um oh there's no way i would have got the other one done is there i mean who am i trying to get so the next time we come back we'll um do the pockets and the decoration in the other insert um, and then I think we'll be ready to have a think about papers because uh, obviously we've got we've got the height uh, issues, so we'll have to see see what we've got. So yeah, that looks better. And yeah, I I, I do think just some washi tape. I mean, I did um, last week and I did make some. Um, lace embellishments but I, I think they might be a little bit too bright for for this and it, it's too big anyway um, but I've actually got that uh, washi tape I wonder what that is it'd look like now this has got uh, a back end on it so i'll be able to lay it down and see oh i like that across there I think I'm just gonna do it as long as as the pocket because I think it just being there just looks a bit odd. Uh, but from the pocket, it's it doesn't seem well. It seems fine. Um, <coughs> little scissors. Here I am. Right. Let's just take that. I'm gonna have to probably add some glue to to that bit right so this washi tape is from uh crossbuyer and i think it was a five p oh it's stuck down fine i'll just put some there where i've just 
uh, yeah, I think it was a five-piece uh, set, and they're very nice. Got these metallics in them. So yeah, I like that there. <clears throat> Move this now. Okay. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I like that. Cut it a little bit too short. Straighten that a little bit. So, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I just needed something, I think, as well, to join <coughs> to join all the pieces together. Well, it's got just the right amount of um, sparkle on it. It's it's very beautiful. Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> Pop that bit up there. I'm just going to straighten it. Peels <coughs> really well. Just going to see if I can. So yeah, I like that. <coughs> then my eye falls here. <coughs> so I'm wondering. About that. Oh yes, I like that. Yeah, it, it definitely brings it brings it all together. I just said it, it's easy to peel. So if we're on that side, <laughs> yeah, I like that from, from that side. Might put something um, here, maybe a word or something. And maybe just something, something here. I think I'm just going to put a bit across that pocket. Like so. Yeah, when I ordered these from Chris Thayer, <coughs> um I ordered them on purpose. Like I wanted 
some blue blue washi tapes. It's stunning. I don't know how well the camera's picking up. Right, so best story up. Time's time's ticking. I feel like I need it across rather than Cut it there. I don't think I want it all the way <coughs> um, across. Just going to do it <coughs> down this uh, edge. That's lovely. <coughs> I, th I think I'm just going to, I've got a little bit here. I think I'm going to put this here. Maybe not as long as that. Let's just make that a little bit. that's that yeah I love that <clears throat> yeah I think it's made a massive difference right that's it for today like I say sorry it's a, a long one but um yeah I wanted to get uh one piece of it finished so I shall well I'll see you tomorrow um thank you very much for joining me I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you soon tomorrow <laughs> bye for now